we're in the Weather Center with meteorologist Noel Navarro, who's filling in for Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Perez today and tomorrow. And Noel, we've been talking about it all morning. Rain is on the horizon, but that's not the case this morning. Not the case. And we could say time out. Hold on to these conditions. Well, at least with the sun popping out over the horizon. How about that? A live look across Upper Michigan, West, Central, and East, and you know areas around the lake shores are holding around the 30s. Some areas along the interior of Upper Michigan are down to the 20s right now. But this sunshine will allow for you to break out of that chill to the start of the day here. But just keep in mind, our wildfire risk is very high today, so hold off on that outdoor burning. You got the combination of warm conditions, dry conditions, in addition to some gusty winds. Before we get a round of evening rain, as you see in your outlook for the next five days, we get the rain ending, or the showers rather, because there's going to be some mixed precipitation involved. It drops and gets drier, but the temperatures get chilly for Wednesday before rebounding to some warmer temperatures towards the weekend. But there's another round of rain, and it could be heavy. So very high levels. That criteria suggests that fires can start easily from all causes. They could spread rapidly, intensify quickly immediately after ignition. So we don't want to be dealing with that for today. Just wait until we get cooler, like on Wednesday. High pressure pushing east of Upper Michigan. It's going to make way eventually for the system to come from over from the areas of the Canadian prairies. When it comes over, it'll be here tonight. We're under mostly clear skies to start the day. We got temperatures from the 20s and 30s to start our Monday and then warming up to the 50s by the lunch hour, even with the clouds increasing as we head towards your afternoon. High temperatures will range anywhere from the 60s, but around the 50s along the Lake Michigan shores and especially along the Keweenaw Peninsula, Copper Harbor, where that south wind could bring in some cooler air from Lake Superior. But here comes the rain across the west ends of the UP. It'll be light, occasional, moderate into the western UP. And then for the central counties, we got some moderate, even heavy pockets of rain by the midnight hour. And that brush of rain pushes eastward early Tuesday morning. And then as we get to the sunrise for Tuesday, we will see a sunrise, most of us here. But once we get into the mid morning hours and the lunch hour, the afternoon. It all increases the clouds and the precipitation again, but a little different because we got temperatures cooling down to the 30s over the northern ends of Upper Michigan. We're looking at mixed precipitation, rain and snow. Overall rain for the southern UP temperatures could hold in the upper 50s to the lower 60s towards Menominee County and areas of Dickinson County. Watch out for thunderstorms. Once we get to Tuesday night, precipitation is gone. But as you see with the temperatures here, it's going to be a chilly midweek in Upper Michigan. Precipitation forecast anywhere from a quarter of an inch. It could exceed half an inch for some areas east and south. That could definitely be helped by some thunderstorms. The SPC with an outlook on non-severe thunderstorms across the southern UP. Brief downpour, small hail and lightning. Of course, that dangerous lightning. Light snow overall when we get that mix later Tuesday. TV6 extended forecast. Wildfire risk for today. Rainy conditions, cold conditions for Wednesday. And and then we start to rebound on Friday. We get warmer, but we get juicier with the system to come. And I'm just, I got a bad feeling about this, Mandy. We got to keep an eye on this. The thunderstorms, they could be strong for the weekend. Oh boy, well, it looks like we need a little bit of rain after this dry morning. Yeah, there's areas of moderate to severe drought, especially out west. Mm -hmm. So we'll look forward to the rain. So yes. Thank you for that, Noel. You can catch a taste of six unique meals and cocktails prepared by local chefs and mixologists coming up.